Canon EOS M series came with high hopes in the market. It revolutionized the camera market by bringing affordable APS-C cameras. But for some unknown reasons, Canon did not focus on the growth of this camera lineup. And as a result, today, the M series cameras stand nowhere in the APS-C market. So, will Canon renovate the camera lineup or the M series is going to be lost in time? This is going to be the main topic of today's video. So with that being said, let's jump in. Previously, we have seen rumors about the R-Series APS-C lineup. And the first thing that came into our mind is whether Canon is going to get rid of its EOS M lineup because it was the most neglected camera lineup for Canon so far. We were assuming that the end of the M-Series cameras is near. However, Canon Watch published an article claiming Canon is not ditching its EOS M and they don't have any intention of that anytime soon. At the same time, sources said that Canon acknowledged that it would delay off EOS M cameras and lenses production because of the pandemic. Another reason for slowing down on the EOS M lineup is to put the utmost focus on the EOS R lineup as the market is shifting fast from DSLR to mirrorless cameras. And it does make sense that Canon will not ditch its EOS M lineup. Firstly, the EOS M50 is one of the best selling cameras in the market. Other cameras in the lineup are also popular for their affordable price range. So a big chunk of the camera market is invested in the EOS M series. So Canon might not find it wise to give up on its M series cameras. But the question is, what about the consumers? Are they ready to wait for Canon's new M series camera and lenses which is not supposed to be happening soon? Or will they switch to other competitive brands? This is the question only time can answer. But there is obviously a chance for other brands like Sony, Fujifilm and Nikon to target this market as it is now neglected by Canon. Besides, Canon M-Series users are not entirely happy with the lens support Canon is currently providing. There is no adapter or anything that will let Canon M-Series camera users attach an RF lens to their cameras. And sources also say that Canon currently has no plans to make an RF adapter for M-Series cameras. So it is high time for others to focus on this market niche. Now let's take a deeper look into the Canon's EOS EF-M lenses. The lenses are definitely affordable and compact. But how about the performance? Currently, there are only 8 native Canon EF-M lenses for M-series cameras. Among them, you will find a bunch of variable aperture lenses with the widest end f3.5. There is also EF-M 32mm f1.4, but the focus jump in that lens is not smooth. Besides, we have the 22mm f2 which is an ok lens except for it doesn't have any stabilization. So there's nothing much to choose from Canon native lenses. Though Sigma has some excellent lenses for M-series cameras, still they're not enough. Apart from that, the idea of focusing more on the RF cameras and lenses might make the users feel a little deprived. Just look at the RF lenses. They're super fast and have a high-end rugged feel. Now look at the EF-M glasses. Very slow and feels cheap. And what about the M-series cameras? The best-selling M50 was released in 2018. And we haven't heard of any new camera in this lineup until 2020 when the M50 Mark II was released. And it was a huge disappointment. Canon came up with a new model but the changes from its previous model were so trivial that it could be done through a firmware update on the M50. So clearly, Canon has not been putting a lot of effort into its M-series cameras. Another vital question is, is it wise to invest in the M-series now? Well, big no there. Though Canon Watch says there is no intention of Canon to end this series, but they are just rumors and claims without solid ground. Looking at the price range, the M-Series might seem a good option, but once you invest in it, you're literally stuck. You're limited by lens support, you're limited by camera model, the ecosystem of the M-Series will obstruct you from going big. And if you choose to upgrade, there are a few transferable things. So you might have to start over from the beginning. You have to get used to a new lineup again. On the other hand, Competitors like Sony have introduced one mount system which has greatly expanded transferability between different camera lineups. So after all these discussions, is the Canon M-Series going to die? Our observation says, yes it is, eventually. It has to compete with Fujifilm and Sony APS-C cameras in the coming days, which is not possible with the current M-Series cameras. The best possibility is, Canon might bring an R-Series APS-C lineup. Though Canon has been delaying the R-Series APS-C, eventually they have to do it if they really want to compete side by side for APS-C market share. So what are your thoughts about the EOS M lineup? Let us know in the comments section.